Hello folks, it's Kathy here, and I'm going to be making book cloth, uh, it, fabric paper, book cloth, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a hybrid of fabric and paper. And how I'm going to do that is with, you need tissue, just white tissue, some thin fabric, and I'm using muslin because I'm going to be using this on the gel press. So um, I just wanted something kind of thin and uh, just a plain color. And Heat and Bond Ultra, which is kind of like a double-sided sticky stuff for fabric. So what I have is I made a, made a um, I placed my Heat and Bond down, um, and then I. It's, this is the sticky side up, which it's not sticky, but, you know, the, the adhesive side up. And then I put my fabric down on top of it. And um, with muslin, it doesn't really matter what side. But if you have a print, you want to put the print up. Or if you've already painted it, you want to put the paint side up. So the adhesive goes on the back. And then I get my iron, which is hot right now. Um, and I just want to start ironing. I've got the tissue paper on the back part and uh, um, the um, muslin on the front. I've got the the large um, eight and a half by eleven size, and I have it mounted on this really cool acrylic block that I got from Joggles. They sell them, and they're they're really reasonably priced, and it's a great way to use them and stamp. So I'll be showing you that. I'm um, using the six by six square. And that's also mounted on an acrylic block. And I pulled out a couple of the smaller ones, well, the round one, the six-inch round, and a couple of the smaller ones, the, the other four-inch round. So I'm going to be doing some backgrounds using stencils. Um, I like to call these freeform stencils because they don't have the square edge. Since I'm going to be doing a fairly large area, I don't want those those marks. Um, so I'm going to be using these kind of freeform stencils that don't have the edges. This has an edge, but that's okay. Um, they're kind of geometric. So they're from Stencil Girl. And then I have some stamps that I'll be using just for fun. Okay, I've got my paints here. I've got my big plate. I'm going to start with the large one. And um, I've got some stencils. I'm going to get going now. Let's see what color. Let's start out light. I'm being generous with the um, paint on the plate because this is not gessoed, so it's going to seep in a little bit. I'm going to put a stencil down. 
and then treat this as a stamp. I'm kind of putting some pressure on it. I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but we'll see. Cool. Okay, now I still have that. I can take that off. And I still can go like this. really taking the paint well. That's so cool. So we've got that and that. Oh, I love it. round plate and I decided to go in with some weight and use these. Now since I'm using this as a stamp I'm going to put it backwards so that when I stamp it will be right the right way. <laughs> 